Hold on, hold on. We need to talk. I can't say I saw this coming, but Sony just had a very good showing at PSX 2016. Seriously, it was far better than any of us expected. The trailer you just watched was for fun, but it was meant to capture the feeling many PlayStation fans had coming out of PSX. Xbox had a great year in 2016, and Sony is reacting strongly. Going into 2017, they're bringing out all they have, and that is awesome. Somehow PSX managed to defy expectations. You see, I was expecting new footage of The Last Guardian and for Horizon Zero Dawn, but I was not expecting to see a new chapter in the Uncharted series. And I was skeptical of Activision's Crash Bandicoot remaster, but after the latest trailers, I'm completely on board. And of course, there's the sheer hype that comes with revealing a project like Last of Us 2, even if many of us saw it coming. To put things simply, PlayStation has a huge 2017 ahead of it. After Microsoft came out strong at the end of 2016 with surging Xbox One sales, Sony has made it clear that it does not intend to let Xbox gain any more ground on their market leadership. But 2017 is also the launch of not one, but two new systems, the Xbox Scorpio and the Nintendo Switch. With two existing models already on the market, Sony needs to deliver more games in 2017 than ever before. And I say this because it's likely that several of the high-profile titles shown at PSX will not be launching in 2017. For example, despite the massive hype following its reveal, it's likely that The Last of Us Part II is not a 2017 title. And while Death Stranding was never promised to be a 2017 game, it's important to note that this game may not release until holiday 2018, and knowing Kojima's track record, this could slip to 2019 or even later. This leaves lower profile titles to carry the PlayStation platform through 2017. So what are we looking at? For starters, there's Horizon Zero Dawn, which is sure to be one of the largest titles of the year and will be used to push the PS4 Pro upon release. There's also Nino Kuni 2, which just so happens to release on PS4 in 2017. And of course, we have Gran Turismo Sport, which is currently expected for 2017, but could slip back. If it does make it in 2017, this will be a high-profile release for PSVR and base PS4 customers alike. Noticeably absent from PSX 2016 is the latest in the God of War series, which we first looked at at E3 2016. There's still a good chance it could launch next year, but nothing's being said at the moment. Sony's also counting on some friendly old mascots to generate a lot of buzz this year. Sony's partnering with Activision on the Crash Bandicoot remaster, which will definitely resonate with PS1 era fans who have yet to buy a PS4. Likewise, Sony's remastering Parappa the Rappa, as well as the Wipeout series to keep the nostalgia pumping throughout the year. And of course, the PS4 will also be home to large multi-platform releases, such as the newly revealed Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. But where Sony can make a real difference is with multi-platform games that have PlayStation exclusives, such as Resident Evil 7, which has extensive PSVR support not found on the Xbox One version of the game. To sum it all up, PSX 2016 was a large success for Sony, filled with more exciting announcements than any of us were really expecting. The only question left on my mind is whether or not Sony's 2017 lineup will be enough to slow down Xbox momentum, which will be building as we approach the launch of the Scorpio and Halo 6. The good news is, console competition only benefits gamers, as competition drives quality. At this point, only one thing is for certain, 2017 is going to be an incredible year for gaming. Thank you all so much for watching. Full disclosure, I am a console neutral gamer and I play on all platforms. I hope to do a similar video for Nintendo and Xbox in the future, and if you'd like to catch those when they come out, be sure to subscribe. Once again, I'm Nick Moe, and I will catch you all in the next video.